It's the second women's semi final on Rod Laver Arena. Please welcome Diana Yastremska. A very good evening and welcome back inside the Rod Laver Arena for the second of the semi-finals in the ladies singles and a lady who will crack the world's top 10 for the very first time in shot against the Ukrainian whose journey here started almost three weeks ago whoever wins it will be some story going into sunday's final my name is nick lester delighted to say andrea petkovic is alongside me petko how are you doing i'm doing very well i'm excited to be alongside you and i'm very excited for this match we had a good start to the semi-finals with sabalenka goff it was a beautiful well-played semi-final first semi-final and i'm excited and ready for the second yeah, Jill Kravas will be with us as well. We'll bring Jill into the conversation very shortly. She has caught side. And what a remarkable story, yes, Trump's just been top seed in qualies, Andrea. That brings its own pressures and then suddenly to, to play the way she has against the level of opposition has been outstanding to watch. Well, and also she should have been in the main draw. She, her ranking is good enough. She's not ranked 92 in the world. However, there were so many protective rankings and so many special rankings that she just dropped out and had to play qualifying. Jinwen, we have Sadie doing the coin toss. Um, first of all, for me, blue for the towel, red for the towel. Um, any questions? No? Sadie, who would you like to ask? Asking Diana, and what are you asking? AO. AO is the call. What is it? Yvonne. Receive. And perfect. And a photo just this way. First meeting between these two players, and it could hardly have a Great bigger job. prize well on offer, could it? A major semi final of one of the grandest stages there is in this wonderful sport. I'm very impressed, I have to say, listening to the Ukrainian talk yesterday in a post-match press conference. Because it's easy to forget, Petko, how good she was as a youngster. As an 18-year-old, she won two titles. I know you played her as well in the early days. So what has changed, do you think? Because there's so much went on. She was away from the sport. There was the ban. Clearly, there's been so many personal problems. But what has clicked for her this week, do you think? I think, honestly, the, uh, the fact that players like Coco Goff, Igor Svantec, Arina Sabalenka have done so well. I think it just released some of the pressure off her shoulders because I remember when I was already a veteran, but there were the next generation was coming up and those names were being thrown around. Diana Yastramska, Arina Sabalenka, Coco Goff, Iga Svantec. And I remember people expected her to win the first major. Mm compared to everyone else that I just named. And I think that is a lot to take in for a young woman. It is a lot of pressure. You and think that was a burden, a burden on her shoulders? I think a little bit. I think it was a little bit of a burden. She has, we will see it today, she has a very high-risk game. She has, um, she has incorporated some more margin. That's why she's playing so well. But she has a very high-risk game. And when you're then not free to swing at the ball, it can really affect your your performance and your results. Yeah, first qualifier since 1978 to make the last four here is Diana Yastremska. Taking on the number 12 seed today, as I mentioned, this lady will be moving nicely up the rankings into the top 10 for the very first time, or Chin Wen Zheng. Good breakthrough last summer, wasn't it, in New York? Let's not forget that a run to the quarterfinals. So there were steps in the right direction very much in the second half of last year that would suggest that this was going to be possible here. Absolutely, and I think it's almost talking about burdens and pressures. It was almost interesting it was very interesting to see that um
It's very interesting to see that she, this is her second quarterfinals at a Grand Slam stage, Chin Wen's, her second, and yet everyone expected her to move into the final of the top half, and so far she's handled it beautifully, she played her yesterday's night match with so much poise, with great attitude, great competitiveness, but we somehow seem to forget that it's been only three months since she has reached these stages, she doesn't have so much experience in these matches, and and yet she's doing it really, really well. And I think we all expected her to do well at these Grand Slam majors. So much power, so much explosiveness. So really two hard hitters. Yeah, still only 21 years of age. How has her game evolved then in, in the last six months, Pepco, in order for, for these improvements to, to kind of manifest themselves? Well, I think the most important department of her game is when she takes her forehand from the center of the court. When she can One hit her forehand after her first serve, when she her first serve finds her spots, and when she controls the center of the court with her forehand. We saw yesterday against Kalinskaya in the first set, she had to hit almost 65% of her shots with the backhand, which was partly granted to Kalinskaya's great play. But when she turned it around, when she managed to take more forehands from the center of the court, she turned the match around. Let's say good evening to Jill Krabas for the first time, who's sitting courtside for us. Evening to you, Jill. Good evening. What are we looking out for in this matchup in particular? What are the keys for both, do you feel? Well, I think we both know how like, explosive the players they three, are, and they're like really seven. just looking both to be extremely aggressive off the ground, which she's and seen throughout these receive. this week and a half already from both. And I do feel like... Uh, Zhang, obviously, I feel like has a little bit more experience with getting deep in the in the second week. This is the second time yes, Trent has been in the second week, but it's Zhang that's been in a quarterfinal before, and now both very new territory into the semifinals for the first time. So for me, it's who's going to handle the situation the best, who's going to handle the nerves. But really, for both, the way they play so aggressively, I feel like is who's going to get that first strike on the ball. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt about that. And it's going to be fascinating to see how this unfolds. Jastrenska, who was brilliant yesterday against Linda Noskova, in many ways was able to really dominate Noskova from the back of the court in a manner that the Czech had done so to the likes of Igor Sviontek. So she has the capabilities to most definitely rush any opposition. Whether she can do so tonight, time will tell. First set. They are Yastrzemska to serve. Playing in the countries, and no, the country's colours as well. For added measure, it will be Yastrzemska to get the second of the ladies' semi-finals underway.